Hoffenheim, a small town in southwest Germany, and the home of an ambitious Bundesliga side with a uniquely talented young manager. We're a very young and innovative club which has been playing in the top division for a few years now. And we're very bold and we always try to develop new ideas with our football. We're a young coaching group, a young team of players, still trying to establish ourselves in the first division. When his playing career was cut short by injury, Julian Nagelsmann joined Hoffenheim as a youth coach, rising up through the ranks he impressed, developing a strong connection with the club. I played football in the lower leagues, but during my young career as a player, I had a lot of injuries, which set me back and made me doubt whether it was sensible to be playing this sport. So I decided to become a coach via a few detours, and today I'm happy that I made that decision. Julian Nagelsmann is for us naturally. Julian Nagelsmann is the perfect trainer for us. He's been with us for six years. He came to work as an assistant coach in the academy and then took over the under-16s and then became assistant coach of the first team and coach of the under-19s. He's a man who possesses a lot of talent, who is blessed with a gift and fits into our profile perfectly. After the experience Tub Stevens left last season, the board turned to Nagelsmann. But then, just 28, he became the youngest head coach in Bundesliga history. At the beginning, of course, there was a lot of pressure. I did feel it, but at the same time, there was a sense of excitement. The pressure during the phase when I was taking over was enormous because we were in a really bad position in the league. But still, everything turned out well in the end. When you see the stadium with 15,000 people screaming and celebrating, it's really special to be on the sideline. And it's a big privilege to be able to experience so much so young. I'll be talking about this for the rest of my life. For all those who didn't know him personally, who had not spent a lot of time with him, it seemed as if it was definitely a huge risk because of his age. But we don't need to beat around the bush. He's exceptional. The risk was greater for outsiders than for those who knew him personally, who had worked with him, because we knew how authoritative he was and how good his perception was on match days, how meticulously he worked and how intensively he trained, and also his great relationship with the younger players. Nagelsmann can relate to the players. But there's no doubt who's in charge when the decisions are made. We do have a very close relationship, but I think the boys still know that I make the decisions in the end, and that I'm the boss. I still try to incorporate the opinions of the players. They're all mature adults who have an opinion about this sport. And if you exchange opinions communally, you can only improve. You shouldn't be afraid to lose authority as a coach. In the end, you just need to make decisions. And they know that I'll make that final decision. Nagelsmann has benefited from working with some of Germany's most respected coaches, but he relies most on his own instinct. I learned from the guys that coached me in my youth. I had Thomas Tuchel, Alex Schmidt, Klaus Schromm, great coaches who developed me personally. They all became very successful. I'm a coach that doesn't have a lot of experience, who decides a lot based on gut feeling. With a coach like Ancelotti, a lot of his decisions are probably based on great experience. That's good to compete against. Hopefully one day I'll be able to say that I'm an experienced coach that has worked in the Bundesliga for many years. By concentrating on the present, the future will look after itself. At the moment, we want to stabilize ourselves, bring our philosophy and principles onto the field, and increase our chances for victories and three points. I live in the here and now, and I try my best with this club, and I'll try and bring the club as far as I can. On the professional level, this is all very fast-paced, and it's very hard to plan a career. If I'm ever allowed to be a coach in the Champions League, then that's a big dream. But if I'm not, then I'll still be a happy person. The club was brave enough to put me in this position. I'm trying to pay that back and hope to deliver in the future.